My school's symbol is a torch with the motto of Demanu and Manu, or from hand to hand. As individuals, we burn as brightly as we can during our time at the school while supporting each other by celebrating our accomplishments and differences. I attend an international boarding school where a multitude of cultural backgrounds is represented. Students live and learn in constant interaction with a diverse peer group with a heightened recognition of what makes people unique, but also most importantly, what makes us the same. We are often told that collaboration is the future. In the classroom, teams of students are expected to perform more effectively than individuals. In the professional world, it is increasingly important to recognize the differences between cultures and backgrounds as opportunities. When other unique perspectives are placed in the same room, the probability that the best possible solution will be found becomes far more likely. This, this process, process, this amalgamation of ideas and approaches in a supportive environment is what Brentwood does well. We maintain a culture of pride. In a tripartite system of academics, arts, and athletics, everyone is encouraged to develop multiple facets of who they are. Pride in one's own work promises a level of satisfaction for the individuals themselves. Pride in another's work, however, leads to a greater feeling of accomplishment. The more people who participate, the greater the sense of community and pride that can be found. As a community, As a community what makes us successful is our rare ability to truly support one another towards the common goal of being the best school we can be. Rugby players support rowers. Runners support sculptors. Painters support scholars. When we come together and support each other as a functioning community, our individual accomplishments are kindling to a greater fire. When we support each other in the pursuit to become greater versions of ourselves, our school's flame grows even brighter. Within the boarding houses, we are exposed to many cultures. I room with a German and another Canadian. And within the houses, Tehran, Saudi Arabia, Lagos, Nigeria, Los Cabos, Mexico, Francisco Beltrão, Brazil, San Francisco, USA. Port Macquarie, Australia. And Canadian provinces are represented. What, what is, is most, most interesting about living with such different people is realizing how similar we are despite the cultural divides. When asked about our motivations or our values, my Nigerian friend and I laugh at how parallel our minds run. Almost 10,000 kilometers apart, we could answer questions as the same person. When different ethnicities become a norm, it's easy to define people by what they bring to the table, as opposed to cultural traits that differentiate them. Whenever a teacher, administrator, administrator, or student leader addresses Brentwood, they refer to us not just as a community, but as a family. We have our problems, as any family does, but we support each other in our endeavors and recognize each other's strengths. Most importantly, we know what makes each other special, and that indicates a rare network of relationships. It's become second, second nature to me to say hello to other students, faculty members, and staff, because I have been conditioned by a welcoming environment. As seniors, seniors, having burned our indelible mark in the school's history, we pass the torch. We encourage those that follow to further the community's sense of pride as they transition into the new leaders of Brentwood's culture. In, in return, return, we remember that anyone, regardless of background or approach, can enrich our life experience if we give them the chance. That's why I chose Brentwood.